Do you have a direct injected engine that is experiencing misfires, power loss, drivability problems, or has high mileage? Well, most likely you have dirty intake valves. In this video, I will show you the tools and procedure I use to clean the intake valves on an Audi Q7. After removing the intake manifold, here's what the valves look like. This one has 135,000 miles on it. If the valves have a heavy buildup like these, I start by breaking loose the big chunks with the pick, just like this. Then I vacuum out the pieces. Now if you don't have a media blaster, you can make a brush that cleans the valves pretty good and that's real cheap. Here's how I do it. I take zip ties, plastic zip ties. I cut the ends off, bundle them together, I bend the ends, and I insert it into a drill. And voila! You have a brush that won't damage the valves. So, uh, here's how I use it. Here's what the valves look like after scraping them and vacuuming them out right before we do the walnut blast. It looked much better. Okay, let's get to the walnut blasting. Here's the equipment I use. Here's the media blaster I use. Central Pneumatic, it's uh, from Harbor Freight. Now I've put a regulator on it. I've got it regulated to 80 PSI. On the end, the nozzle is 5 16 outside diameter brake line with a little bend in it. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in length, 14 inch or something like that. And I never could quite get it to work like what they uh, recommended in in the uh, owner's manual. I found out what works out best. I don't even open this top valve that pressurizes the top of the tank. When I do the, the walnut blasting, I only open this bottom valve and I open it about halfway or slightly more and it seems to work really good. It doesn't uh, waste a lot of uh, walnut shells. And the shells I use Make sure you get fine. I've used coarse and they don't work near as good. I use a five horse, five gallon craftsman wall mount. With this attachment, it's an inch by inch and three quarter. And I've drilled a hole right there for the nozzle. Works perfect. And finally, here's the equipment in action and what the valves look like when they're complete.
All right, here's the end result. Looks super nice. We're ready to put the intake manifold back on now. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more like it. And make sure you ring the bell so you don't miss my new ones. Thanks for watching.